So Mr. Trump uh, just released a video on YouTube. Uh, he did that because he doesn't have an active uh, Twitter account anymore. And, you know, he sounded so presidential. So I was so amazed. You know, people can change. I study the brain and I always talk about neuroplasticity and how people can change. And Mr. Trump did change. And that is really great for him and for the American people. Uh, but, you know, it, it was too dramatic a change. Uh, he was condemning the rioters who stormed the uh, U.S. Capitol. And he was saying that you do not represent the American people. And that was amazing because, you know, we were under the impression that it was actually Mr. Trump who kind of you know, caused all this. I mean, uh, saying, claiming that... Uh, the election was a fake and it was a stilted election and how he won a landslide victory and, you know, uh, saying, uh, wait and, you know, stand by to the proud voice and so on. So, you know, by all fair judgments, uh, it, it appeared that it was actually none other than Mr. Trump who caused all this trouble. But having said that, it was great that uh, to see a transformed uh, Mr. President and I wish he would have him uh, like this for the last four years and that would have saved us a lot of trouble. But on the other hand, I felt that it was all deep fake. <laughs> you know, I couldn't believe that Mr. Trump was actually saying these words. Um, as somebody uh, who is based in Tokyo and who has been watching uh, Mr. Trump in the last four years, uh, I, it was not so characteristic of Mr. Trump to say these words and I was afraid that it was probably a deep fake, you know, the latest artificial intelligence technology applied to Mr. Trump. And I was watching his neck, you know, and, you know, if you watch the video again, uh, there's something funny about the border between his neck and the white white, white shirt, white shirt, you know, uh, <laughs> there's something funny about the border. Um, so, well, I think it's an authentic video, but uh, it what uh, Mr. Trump was saying in that video was so uncharacteristic, so I had my doubts and, well, I, 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 I'm sure white, the White House has, uh, you know, access to the latest artificial intelligence technology and, you know, anything is possible. And although Mr. Trump might have endorsed the video, uh, probably uh, it's possible that, you know, Mr. Trump couldn't really bring himself to saying these words, so maybe he might have authorized a deep fake video of himself saying these really uncharacteristic words, uncharacteristically presidential words. And, you know, that, that was my uh, one observation. And another observation is that, you know, um, you know, when he, Mr. Trump sounded presidential, you know, he not really, you know, um, contradictory and paradoxical way, his charms seems to go away. I mean, after all, uh, Mr. Trump's charisma, if you like, uh, came from the fact he was behaving and saying things so unpresidential that, you know, it was an outlier. He was an outlier all these files and his fan base, you know, those people who supported Mr. Trump loved him because, just because Mr. Trump was so unpresidential. I mean, you know, he was so extraordinary in the good sense and in the bad sense in both ways. And so when Mr. Trump said, you know, to the people who stormed the U.S. Capitol that these people didn't uh, represent the American people, I felt sorry for Mr. Trump's supporters who believed his words, who believed his words that this was a stolen election, and Mr. Trump uh, actually won a landslide victory. These people who believed him, and you know, and stormed the U.S. Capitol, what did they do that for? You know, if they, what did they do that for? I mean, all for this guy who wears the Make America Great Again cap, and you know, and when he says uh, these things, that uh, these people do not represent the American people from the overall office, um, you know, helped by probably uh, deep fake technology. I felt so sorry for 
these people who believed Mr. Trump and was finally let down because probably Mr. Trump wanted to preserve himself, uh, protect himself from possible uh, prosecutions and charges uh, caused by his, you know, really um, ill-perceived and uh, delusionary uh, me remarks about uh, the er this election. So, you know, I, I was saying that, uh, uh, you know, this really presidential uh, address from Mr. Trump seems like deep fake. But if you look back, uh, all these four years, all these four years of Mr. Trump's presidency was probably a deep fake in a different sense of the world. Because probably everything was a uh, public relations stunt by this person, Mr. Donald Trump. And probably everything was a fake. Not a deep fake, but a shadow fake, which is all the more sad.